There's no other version of Islam. And there's no version of Islam that doesn't define jihad as warfare against non-Muslims. If that's not what Islam is, then why is it taught in every single Islamic school on the planet? So here is a book, the most prominent Islamic book used in Islamic schools in America. You can tell it's a little well used. There are three duties in Islam according to this book. Dawah, to call people to Islam, jihad, and encourage good and forbidding evil. Those are the three duties, and they're teaching them to seventh graders in America. And it says this, the word jihad is most often associated with the act of physically confronting evil or wrongdoing. And it has a picture. What's that a picture of right there, sir? Right here. Yeah, it's a tank. It's a tank, so when the little children are confused about what jihad is, it says it right there. If anyone dies in jihad, they automatically will go to paradise. A shaheed or martyr is described this way by Allah. Don't think those who were killed in Allah's cause are dead. No, they are finding their bounty in the presence of the Lord. To Americans in Muslim schools, that's what's being taught and much worse. As a matter of fact, let's just flip to the rear just for a little fun to see when they talk about the basic Islamic government. The duty of the Muslim citizen is to be loyal to the Islamic State, taught right here in America, taught right here. This book is used in Virginia. How about a little of that? In a Muslim school? or In, a in Islamic school. The basis of the legal and political system is the Sharia of Allah. So Sharia is the law of the land. 